we announced an indictment charging seven Russian military officers with violations of several U.S. criminal laws as part of a conspiracy to hack a variety of individuals and organizations in the United States, Canada, and Europe. Who was Russia accused of targeting? Anti-doping agencies, a chemical weapons watchdog, and a U.S. nuclear company. Now, according to Global Affairs Canada, some of the acts have a connection with Canada. Now, the charges were announced by the U.S. Justice Department, but the RCMP's cyber crime director, he was there. The Canadian victims, two of which you've uh, learned about today in the indictment, being uh, hosted by Canada in the World Anti-Doping Agency, or Anti-Doping Agency, as well as the Canadian Centre for Ethics and Sport. Canada's parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs says further sanctions against Russia could be announced in the coming days. And on the issue of hacking, he was asked, what about upcoming elections in Canada? The Minister of Democratic Reform has in her mandate letter a specific series of activities which she has conducted and is conducting with the various authorities here in Canada to ensure that our elections are fair, free and non-interfered with by, for example, Russian state actors. Russia's GRU military spy agency accused not only of stealing data to smear international anti-doping agencies, but also of releasing private medical information of more than 250 athletes from 30 countries. This began with the disclosure of Russian state-sponsored doping program for its athletes. In other words, Russia cheated. They cheated, they got caught, they were banned from the Olympics, they were mad, and they retaliated. Cyber attack allegations against Russia also coming from the UK and All the Netherlands. Them. Dutch authorities revealing they disrupted an attempted hack into the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons in April, when work was being done to identify the substance used in the nerve agent attack on a former Russian spy in Salisbury and in an attack in Syria. The alleged hacking plot involves suspects with diplomatic passports who parked a car at a hotel next to the chemical weapons watchdog, equipment in the vehicle designed to hack into the agency's Wi-Fi network. Russia must stop this reckless pattern of behavior. And a connection to the U.S. revealed by the British ambassador to the Netherlands, who says the suspects caught with spy gear in their car were from the same GRU unit accused of hacking the Democratic National Committee before the 2016 election. Moscow denying all allegations. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis says Russia would have to be held accountable. The Russians got caught with their equipment, uh, with the people who were doing it, and uh, they have got to pay the piper.